just say you're beautiful, you know? What's up? It's a tough look. I don't know what that means. It means it's a good look. I like it. I like, I like this look. Next time, next time, I'll... Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black. Oh my gosh, my voice gone. <laughs> Little Black Book. Uh, we're talking to you guys about uh, Chelsea and Kwame part two. In part one, I kind of went further than I thought I was going to go. So I have to do a part two. We're talking about that Chelsea's got covert control over Kwame. She's gonna, it's gonna rear its ugly head later on in this marriage. Now you're probably thinking, what? Chelsea covert control? Never. I'm going to break it down to you. Hopefully it'll make sense by the end. You may agree, you may disagree. Whichever what you choose, make sure you comment down below and let us know your thoughts on this particular episode nine. Look, please like, share, subscribe, like the video, share it with somebody, subscribe, okay, to this channel. Click on the bell button for notification of all uploads. When you click on that bell button, click on the black bell. That will give you access to all notifications. We're going to be doing lives on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week, talking about each episode on each day. So 8, 9, 10, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, okay? All right, getting ourselves prepared for the, 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 the episode 11 later on and the live that they do on the 17th or 16th, whatever, of April. All right, let's get into this video. I don't waste much time. I want to get straight into this, right? Chelsea's covert control over Kwame. I just played this clip and I want to go back. I want to go back to you. I want to go back to you. Okay. All right. This is just, this is deep what's happening here. Okay. It just, in certain points, it can feel suffocating. You know, it's a tough look. Just say you're beautiful, you know? What's up? It's a tough look. Okay. So. She's going to come and tell us later on. Oh, I was joking. I was joking. No, you weren't, sis. Okay, now let's keep it real. When we talk about covert control, what we mean is um, where the person isn't overt with their control, right? So what, what they tend to do is have uh, they, 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 the same way someone wants to control overtly, they have the same end goal. They want to be able to control what you do or what you say or how you say it or where you go or what you do. They have a way of trying to control that by being incessantly suggestive right? Okay. They will keep on insisting um, and suggesting in a very passive manner. So it looks like, oh, they're not actually controlling me, but the consistent suggestions are about you doing it the way that they want it to be done in a particular way, right? Um, and so this comment here is the beginning of, of it in episode nine, but actually I noticed it. And again, you may disagree, but I think this is good to discuss. I've noticed this in, when they met each other on the the red carpet after you know they come out their 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 booths or whatever and they see each other for the first time and she's like aren't you gonna get on your knee and you, you know get and 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 you know um uh propose etc etc and i said mm. the tone the energy i said it sounded really suggestive like in terms of oh i would like it to happen but it it was almost it was almost direct language where it was it was commanding almost in a sense and i said but maybe i'm just doing too much i'm reading too much into it you know i'm being a bit too sensitive to the to the emotions you know um but that's when i first clocked it happening there and then similarly enough i think the next time i kind of saw this kind of energy also it uh, or i should say yes this kind of energy also wasn't i guess what the, well you know when they were talking about moving he's like well he's moving to seattle and i was like whoa she put she didn't say it to him directly she said it in the in the in a cutaway, and it's like, yeah, he's moving to Seattle or wherever they wherever they settled. I think I think it was Seattle because he's from Oregon or Portland or whatever, right? So I was like, oh, okay. And as I've started noticing some of this passive uh, 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 control that she likes to exert, um, it's not as, it's not overt. And then I I remember this behavior coming out also, which which intrigued me. It was an episode I think seven or eight where she spoke to her father about. Um, Kwame and the way she was really tackling the issue it was it was more about her body language that was intriguing the fact that she came off the back of the chair and then came forward to kind of remonstrate and 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 pers uh, persuade and talk I said okay she's got a lot of assertive energy right because when you sit like that you're you're now imposing yourself on the conversation and I was like oh okay so she she might have a little bit more assertive energy than, than Kwame in this instance as well right um and then um Obviously, again, this particular episode um, as well, where, you know, I, I felt like I saw it a bit more um, and I was like, OK, cool. Maybe I'm maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I, I started to see it. So this comment here is is a really good example. Right. So he said that's a tough look rather than her immediately asking, oh, what does that mean? 
he and he could have been like, oh, like it looks good, like it, it's looking good. It's a slang term. She wanted to control what he said and go, why don't you just say it was beautiful? Now so she might not have understood the, the slang, but if you didn't understand it and it wasn't, if you didn't understand it, then you can't put a negative connotation on it unless you're making an assumption of what it actually is. So if you didn't know what it was, why did you react the way you did? He said, oh, it's a tough look. So you should have been, first thing, you should have been like, I don't understand that. What does that mean? And then you he'd have been like, oh, it means look good. And you should have been like, all right, cool, yeah. You know, I prefer beautiful, but hey, you know, I'll take it. All right, but she didn't do that. She wanted to instantly, and like he's been saying, confront the issue and be combative, okay, as well. So we don't get to see it, but she reminds me of what we call uh, if I put it correctly, uh, when we talk about conformity, she reminds me of uh, uh, a little bit of when we talk about compliance, which is changing one's behavior while still internally disagreeing with the group. It's almost if, like, of of course, she will tell you out, out outwardly that her she will show you outwardly that her behavior is changed, but inwardly she doesn't agree. And so this is quite interesting because we saw this at the pool. At the pool, she's like, Yeah, yeah, you go and have a conversation with Michael. Yeah, yeah. But then while she's with the girls, she's fuming. And of course, his behavior was out of pocket. So let's be honest. Right? She has every reason to, right? Uh, but we saw a little bit of that as well. So it's like it will look like she's really, really cool, but underneath it all, no, 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 no. Don't play me, baby. She's going to give you the enter the dragon. I'm going to let you enter the dragon. You know what I mean? Okay. So coming back onto this conversation, look, you're going to look at Kwame's face when he says this. He's confused. What's happening here? Wait, what? Because again, he doesn't think it's a joke because her tone didn't make it a joke. Do you see what I'm saying to you? His, her tone didn't make a joke. So he's like, wait, what? You know what I'm saying, right? So now she has to add the extra context of what she was actually saying. Let's go. Look, I don't know what that means. It means it's a good look. I like it. I like this. <laughs> next time, next time, I'll just say you're beautiful. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, you know, just, just come. Right? So she's like, oh, uh, I, I don't know what that means. And he's like, oh, I mean, she look good. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and then she's like, then she's going to go and say that, oh, um, I was just joking. Why did you have to say that? I'm just joking part. Clearly, if you, if you, were joking, he would have known, but you saw his face, he didn't know you were joking. And the tone that you said it in, you wasn't joking. And do you know what I realized as well? She definitely wasn't in a joking mood because later on, this becomes an argument, right? When he when he checks her about her behavior, it becomes an argument. Um, Complimenting you the only way I know how. It's okay. Wait, wait. Okay. We are not done with those strawberries. Um, <sighs> now, at this point, can I be honest with you? He's frustrated. <clears throat> he's annoyed and some of it is due to sensitivity i believe um and oversensitivity um and his irritation as well he's hurt by her um and it's making him irritated and i think that's also showing as well um in that place i generally think as well i think she's second best i can't believe i can't lie to you i can't get away from the fact that he chose a second but anyway um and so now watch this part this is really interesting about what i call covert control watch this part here so are you gonna feed me a strawberry yeah. Tell me how much you love me. <laughs> now, this part here, when she says that, okay, this is not necessarily control, not this part here. This is her living in her delusion and wanting things to be this magical. Um, it's a magical place where we can always go. It's called Toys R Us. You know, if you know, if you're in Britain, you know, Toys R Us, right? <laughs> yeah, that advert back in the day. But it's like she wants to go to this magical place. She's almost forcing the the magic the magic of the relationship onto this i don't believe they have that much great chemistry i'll be honest with you i don't i believe that she forces a lot of her delusions of this magical chemistry that they have onto the relationship i don't think they have it personally i don't i think he likes her i think he cares for her um i think he appreciates her but this was never his number one um and i don't think he has that kind of love that he'd really want for her but let's 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 play a bit more <laughs> <laughs> I'll be enough of these, baby. I'm good. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, this is really interesting. What just happened there? Now, it was minute, okay? But knowing Kwame, Kwame said something. Oh, he said that in a previous episode. He says, I'm, I've been guilty of being too accommodating in the past. He a people pleaser. And we know this because as well, his history. Now, this is really important. Because what happened here, he didn't want to eat the strawberry. Oh, no, no, sis. He did not want to eat the strawberry. 
okay? But she forced it upon him, right? This is let's watch it again. Watch it again. Now you might not think it's that deep. You might think, oh, you know, she just but no, no, she insisted, and that was a problem, right? He didn't want to eat the thing again. He ain't trying to be involved, okay? All right, but because also too, he 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 uh, he conforms easily. This is what he gave in at that moment, right? Let's just play again. <laughs> <laughs> And if you do one, I've eaten enough of these, baby. I'm going. Mm -mm. Okay. She said, mm -mm. she ain't taking no for an answer, right? But he already told her, I I've already eaten enough of these, babe. Right? If he then goes, says, okay, but okay, go on then. But he didn't. She said, mm -mm. no, you're going to eat this strawberry. You're going to eat it. Now, oftentimes we don't look at these things as big things because we're like, oh, no, she's dainty. She's faint. She's like a, you know, this, you know, very feminine white woman. Yeah. No. Covert control. OK. Look, she's also got a history. If you've gotten her ex, this was episode four, I believe her ex man was controlling and abusive. So it wouldn't be far fetched for her to have had some residue left over from that relationship and for her to continue some of those behaviors that she witnessed and was uh, was um unfortunately uh, 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 subjected to, to also do the exact same thing to her partner. Maybe not in the most, not in the most, uh, 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 you know, fullest measure as she, as she experienced, but in minute doses, right? Sometimes it can affect you so much that you do the exact same thing to someone else in a different measure, right? So let's play a little bit more. You've already had one? So you haven't had one? No. Oh, you did? What do you have to do every single time you go back to the change? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Was she not listening? Oh, you already had one? Oh, I didn't know you had one. I just told you I've had some of these. What were you not listening to? And do you know what? This is really important, okay? I don't know if she got bad hearing or amnesia in the moment, but this is a consistent thing with Chelsea about forgetting little things like this in the moment because it's going to come up in a few seconds' time. She's going to do the exact same thing and say she doesn't remember the conversation they had in the morning, right? She's going to tell you. All right, that she don't remember the exact the conversation in the morning when they talk about it, which is really interesting. Okay, really interesting. All right, moment like today was a really really tough morning for us. And stop smiling. I'm, sorry. <laughs> Seriously. Well, I'm trying to be I'm real. I'm sorry. I know. I feel you. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm smiling. I don't know why. Of course, yeah, he's a little bit frustrated about the fact that she's smiling about the situation, uh, but that's not where we want we want to focus. We want to focus on what was said because that conversation is quite interesting and this will be our last kind of thing to dissect um you know as well because i think it's really powerful what's happening here let's go feeling are you okay what was your response to me i don't know your response was do i sound okay <laughs> now you heard her quite clearly tell us again i don't know what my response was this morning okay um you know just like she didn't hear Earlier on about the chocolates in her mouth, uh, you know, the chocolate, in the chocolate, the chocolates that he ate or whatever, whatever, right? So again, she doesn't remember. Now I think it's really key because it's often how people start telling you that you did something, and you're gonna be like, I don't remember I did that, right? And that's how the control really be kicking in. People be people be forgetting convenient amnesia that they did something or said something, and they can only remember what you did. Okay, suddenly they got great um, great memory of what you did, but watch this response that she does, which is so interesting. Listen to this. You tell me if that sounds fair to you. Like you're not considering the weight of the things that you're saying. You're just like, I fuck it, I'm gonna say it. I never directed it at you. And it's a stress I wonder that's frustrating me. I wanted to help you out. There's no need. Now let's pause it. He said, he said something, he said, look, you're not considering the weight of what you're saying because if you're just saying it, you're just saying F it, I'm gonna say it, which is in alignment with, if you don't remember, it means you're just kind of, you kind of just say things off the cuff. You don't be thinking about how it could impact a person. That's a fair point. But I think what's really more important to listen to after that is she says, oh, you know, I've been under undue stress. So, you know, that's what's making me feel the, act, the way I'm acting. Baby, that's just you. That ain't the stress. That's just you. OK, that ain't the stress. That's just you, darling. OK, I know you're going I know you're going to try to play off as the stress, but that's just you, darling. OK, that ain't the stress. All right. That ain't the stress. I want to get to this part now. This is throw Chelsea under the bus and I'm going to fucking is, throw you under okay, the bus. Throw me under the bus. So you better get ready. Go ahead, please do it. Do it. it does not seem nice. It does not seem considerate. I understand the things. Now, she told us and said, you know, if you're going to throw me underneath the bus, I'm going to throw you underneath the bus. Oh, wait, whoa. I'm, I'm not throwing you underneath the bus. I'm trying to bring up a point about how I feel. Yeah? Listen, I'm telling you, 
her control is going to play out later on in this marriage if he stays in it. He will think he, he, because he's too accommodating too. And she's going to take more inches out of him. If already he feels like he's sacrificing everything and she isn't sacrificing much at all, it's the beginning It's the beginning of the unbalanced relationship, right? And so he going to find himself in a place where he won't even recognize who he is because she's got covert control. Now, I'm not even trying to say she's abusive. I'm just saying covert control. She's going to make outcomes be what she wants them to be, Okay. All right. But her desperation and wanting to be married, she's willing to take this, this situation, which I think she knows he ain't seen her as number one. Right. But hey, what do I know? I don't want to say too much. I've talked long enough. I think I want to keep these nice and short. Uh, and let me just say this final point. Her being nice also is part of that covert um, control, too. Right. I'm just saying that her being nice sometimes, not kind, nice. It's part of our covert control as well. So, uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Do you guys disagree down below or you agree? Let me know your thoughts down below. Maybe you saw something different. Maybe you, maybe you don't get what I'm saying. And that's fair. We want to hear your points. Okay. We want to hear what your thoughts are as well. Uh, much appreciation as well. We'll see you again very, very soon. Yeah, you know what time it is.